Hello guys, welcome back. I'm finally back after like a three week break. I mean the first week, I was, no particular reason that I wasn't uploading, but then I went to Florida for two weeks over my winter vacation, which was pretty nice. I wasn't able to upload, well I mean because I can't really bring my computer in a car ride with me all the way down to Florida. Just wouldn't work out. Don't have a laptop, actual desktop computer, so yeah, it just wouldn't work. And unlike the last time I went to Florida, I put in no work while I was down there at all. It was just like a 100% vacation, didn't really do anything, and it was really fun. We went to Universal Studios, so that was pretty cool. But enough of how I spent my holidays, uh, it's time for a story. So a while back, a friend of mine, and I'm talking about like a really, really long time ago, like a while, while back. So, Jackalope, I'll link his uh, YouTube channel in the description below. And um, he came over to my house, and we were hanging out. And it was a couple nights after I had first seen the movie Back to the Future. So, I was, like, I, I was infatuated by the idea of time travel. So, I thought I'd be able to time travel and, you know, visit some dinosaurs and shit. So, my friend and I... We build a ghetto flux capacitor out of, like, some paper and twisty ties and a bunch of other stuff, too. Funny enough, I still have it, or rather my mom does. It's actually about, like, ten feet away from me right now. So, we go into my driveway, and we were going to try to make this thing work out. So, we took a liquid measuring cup. I We put some, like, green... Or, no, it was orange, like food coloring and water in it just to make it look cool. And we just put the flux capacitor above it. And we decided to activate it. We need to make a fire. So it was in the fall and there were leaves all over the ground. So we took some leaves and we started putting them onto the flux capacitor. And we lit on fire because my dad gave us a grill lighter. So we started a fire. And it was a pretty big fire too. Like, it was really big, and, like, it got pretty damn big. Like, I'm talking about, like, a quarter of my driveway was on fire, and our neighbor from across the street was, like, yelling at us. So, we start to panic, so we go in to talk to my dad. We're like, Dad, we started a big fire in the driveway. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. And he wasn't paying attention because he was watching fucking football. So we go out there, and... Well, my friend, he's still trying to build the fire bigger. And, I mean, I was too. But yeah, we made a pretty bad fire. And then my dad finally came out and he was like, Holy crap, what have you guys been doing? And, yeah, we kind of destroyed the flux capacitor a little bit. Well, we no time travel happened that day. Uh, the Pytex liquid measuring cup, that was also destroyed too. Uh, my mom was confused what happened to that, because, like, you know, why there were black stains on it from burns. And there was a giant fire in my driveway, which got put out eventually. I mean, there were leaves everywhere, so it started to spread. We were going to, you know, cause, like, a mini forest fire. But that never happened. It just left a little stain on the driveway, which is far gone. It was probably gone a couple days after. But, yeah, that was uh, what happened. Anyways, guys, sorry for the short story today. I do not really know what to talk about. That's all that really came to mind. It was at the top of my list. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.